thank you for that. So hi, everybody, and good afternoon. I'm Cheryl. I am the new director of ecosystem at the CNCF. So first question, who has heard of the CNCF? OK, how many people have not heard of the CNCF? OK, cool, number of people. So most people think of the CNCF, or the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, as a bunch of projects and a bunch of members. So the most famous project is Kubernetes. And then the members are or include all of the large cloud providers across the US and China. So question, what's missing from this? Answer, end users. Because that's why we build this, right? That's why we work on these products and projects. So the CNCF also hosts a bunch of end users, including Bloomberg, in the end user community. And my role as director of ecosystem is to make these end users successful and productive. So I've been spending some time thinking about how do you understand the needs of such a diverse group of companies. So should you slice it by vertical or by region, by size or age or market cap? Um, but I want to think about how these companies adopt cloud native. In the 1994 book, Crossing the Chasm, Moore defined the five segments of technology consumers. So you've got the innovators, the techies, who are willing to invest hours into making anything and everything work, and they live on the bleeding edge. Then you've got the early adopters who have the insight between some emerging technology and a strategic opportunity. And they can merge those two things, and they have the personal clout to turn that into a high visibility, high risk project. Then you get the early majority, and those are the ones who have existing operations that they want to improve or improve productivity by adopting a new piece of tech. And hence the chasm between the first two and the third segment. So the first two are looking for disruption and change. The early majority want continuity and evolution rather than revolution. And not coincidentally, the, these segments map onto the CNCF project um, identities. So sandbox, incubating, and graduation projects. So instead of thinking about the CNCF as a bunch of projects and a bunch of members, you can think of it as an organization that helps open source cloud native technology cross the chasm and get adopted by the mainstream. Kubernetes was the first in 2018 to graduate or cross the chasm in CNCF terms, followed by Prometheus. But it's worth noting that chasm crossing isn't the end of the story. A third of consumers live in the late majority, and those just want something that will work. They don't necessarily want to spend a huge amount of time or a lot of, need a lot of deep expertise to make this work. So for instance, using a managed Kubernetes service could help reduce the amount of initial setup and the operational complexity. And of course, as the tech becomes predictable and reliable enough, this opens up a new wave of innovation and a new bunch of projects um, that will hopefully successfully move into that early stage. So how you and your organizations work might have an impact on what sort of technologies you should be looking at or looking at adopting. So if you are in the innovator techie section, section and you can live with half-baked functionality and missing documentation, um, and you can work directly with project maintainers, then you could be in the, the innovators. Um, if you're an early adopter, you will probably be looking at what are the business outcomes? Why should I adopt this tech, and what impact will it have on my, my organization? And then if you're in the early majority phase, you should look at the case studies, which are published on the CNCF website, as reference guides for, from other end users who can help you understand how they've adopted the tech. So if you want to learn more, 
I highly recommend you come to one of the KubeCon or Cloud, Cloud Native Con events. Um, those run now across North America, Europe, and China. And I think it's the best place to share your experiences and to learn from other people as well. And that's it. If you'd like to chat to me, then you can reach me at chung at linuxfoundation.org, or you can find me on Twitter or Cheryl. Um, thank you for your time. I hand over to the next speaker. Thank you.